All right, guys. Um, I just want to introduce you guys to those that want a different method as far as the metric conversions. Maybe we struggle a little bit with the chart that we're currently using, that kilo, hecto, deca, base, deci, centi, milli, x, x, micro chart. This one is a little bit different. This one um, takes kind of our most commonly used units and makes us focus on those so that, you know, it's not as tricky. Um, I want to introduce you guys to what's called the stair-step method approach to metrics. Now, if we were to take a set of stairs, so just like we're used to with, you know, looking at normal set of steps, um, and we put our most commonly used prefixes on that. Um, so our most common prefixes would be kilo, um, simply because a lot of times as um, healthcare, you know, in the, in the healthcare field, you may use kilograms to have to measure a patient's body weight. So kilo, uh, next one would be our base. So whether we're dealing with grams, meters, or liters, that's going to be interchangeable. So that would be the next step. And I'm going to write that in in just a second, but I want to just kind of talk about the little uh, prefixes first. The next step would be milli. Um, so I'm just, I'm using the abbreviations here. It's kind of easier to see that. Um, and then the last step would be micro, simply because in healthcare, the most commonly used units for dosages would be milligrams and micrograms. So you're going to see those more often than anything else. Um, so really, these are the most common things that you guys are going to see. And if you guys remember, your bases are kind of interchangeable. That that top stair step is going to be kilo, whether we're talking about kilograms, kilometers, or kiloliters. Most common is going to be gram, so I'm going to go ahead and write that G in there for gram. So that second step, if we're using grams, that would just be the lowercase g there, lowercase g behind the M for milli, and the micro. So we're just looking at this stair step method as if it's all grams. But again, it's interchangeable. This is going to be the same process if we were using kiloliters, liters, milliliters, and microliters. Um, same stair step would look the exact same if it was uh, kilometers, meters, millimeters, and micrometers. So it's going to be the exact same. That's why I wrote those that base in there in blue because I was just showing you guys that that's kind of interchangeable. Um, how we use the stair step method is this, that what we need to remember here is that every time we're going down a step, so I'll just write that over here on the side, down means to multiply. So what we're doing, every time we go down a step, we are multiplying by 1,000 every time you go down one step. Um, whereas the opposite would be if I was to go up a step. So let's just write up. Up equals divide by 1,000. So let me give you a couple examples. Um, let me erase this here. So just remember that every time we go down a step, it's times 1,000. Every time we go up a step, it is divided by 1,000. So we'll, we'll take a look at some of the, the differences here. Um, if I can get this to erase. Uh, let me rewrite that stair step method in here real quick. Okay. So it was kilograms, grams, milligrams, and micrograms. Okay, so let's say we have an example. Um, let's say 9 kilograms, and I want to know what that is in grams. So if this is our question here, then you can see kilogram to gram is simply just down one step. So again, according to our rules, going down one step would simply mean to just times by 1,000. So in our example, 9 times 1,000 gives us 9,000. So that's our answer. It's the same thing as if we were going from kilo to gram on our on our chart, on our chart, that's simply taking our decimal and moving it three places to the right. Um, so, which still gives us 9,000, but this might be an easier way to remember it because you, all you have to do is plug it into your calculator. Um, so, doing a different one, let's say we have one where we have to go up a step. Um, let me erase this real quick. This eraser is not as fast as I would like it to be. Um, so let's say we have, mm, how about 300 
milligrams, and I want to know what that one is in grams. So again, according to our stair step method, that is milligrams to grams. We're going up one step right here, and up means to divide by 1,000. So therefore, if I take 300 and divide it by 1,000, and just plug that in my calculator, that's going to give me 0 0.3. So therefore, my answer is 0.3. So the great thing about this method is it also prevents us from having to distinguish between when we add zeros and when we drop zeros and you know because I know that that was sometimes kind of a tricky point to that um, so we don't have to worry about that um, but you know so they're like I said the, these two methods are kind of interchangeable trying a different one the only thing I want to also point out to you guys in using this stair step method um, you know if if you're ever having to go down two steps a lot of times people think, oh, two steps, that means 2,000. That's actually not the case. If I had, um, let's say, 3.5 kilograms, and I want to know what that is in milligrams, then you can, know, you can see here that that would be down one step means times 1,000. Down a second step also means times 1,000. So what this actually means is I'm going to take 3.5 and multiply it by 1,000 twice. Um, a lot of times people want to accidentally want to multiply that by 2,000, but that's going to give us a wrong answer. So using the stair step method, remember two steps means two times. So if I take 3.5 and multiply it by 1,000, 3.5 times 1,000 is going to be 3,500. But that would be if I was stopping at grams. So I've converted to grams so far, but because I'm trying to get to milligrams, that's another step. So I have to multiply it again by 1,000, and that's going to give me 3,500,000. And that would be the answer that I'm looking for in this case. Um, so I wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to introduce you guys to this method. I know I just quickly went over that, but I'll go over it again before the test. I just wanted you guys to see this method in case anybody over the weekend is struggling with the chart method that we looked at with for the metrics on in class. Um, if you have any questions, you guys know, just shoot me an email and um, I'll go over anything that I need to. All right, thanks guys.